Hey guys, what's up? It's Offspring, otherwise known as James. Um, I'm here for another street stock race. This time we're on uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is the big oval for the uh, rookie street stocks. There are only two ovals that you can race in the uh, rookie street stocks. It's uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway and uh, the USA International Speedway. Uh, the last video at USA, you saw a lot of crashes. Uh, I pretty much did like I said I was going to do. What my, my plan was was to just stay out of trouble, run my line. And that continued to be my plan. But this race was in a higher split. I talked about splits in the last video. But uh, this race here was in the second split of five. So the racers in this race... Uh, are a little bit more skilled, have a little bit more talent, and are less likely to crash. Uh, I didn't make up very many positions in this race, but my safety rating went through the roof, and so did my points. Uh, just, like I said, on those low class, uh, uh, low strength of field races, the best thing you can possibly do is just stay out of trouble. You finish races, you get points, you get into the higher splits, and you get a race like this one. This was a lot of fun. Uh, wasn't a whole lot of crashing. There were a few bumps. I got bumped one time. It was a complete accident. Uh, but this is, this was just a great race, and we're off. It's hard to talk for 15 minutes when I can just let you watch the race, so that's what I'm going to do. Now here, I was holding off a little bit, trying to wait for all the crashes to happen in front of me. Well, it didn't happen. Like I said, these are more talented drivers. This is a higher split. And this is how you get to some fun races. little bit too high there and I pay for it because guys are coming up under me pretty quick every once in a while here you'll see somebody slip right like him slips makes an adjustment gets back on the gas and he's off again uh, that's what you get with a higher split if this was a lower split, that guy would have been in the wall. See, I got another guy up under me here, so I can't get down low. I do manage to make some positions up. Uh, I do a couple passes, plus there is one or two off-track excursions by some of these guys. I gotta tell you, I'm having a lot of fun in iRacing. Um, it's not the graphics. You see the graphics aren't the best in the world. It's not the graphics. It's not the cars. It's the racing. It's very difficult to find racing like this on a console. Uh, the Xbox 360 or PlayStation, you just cannot find this type of racing. I nearly chopped my nose off there. It's a good thing I slowed enough. I can see another car behind me in my mirror. It's hard to believe this is a street stock race, um, as clean as it's been. It seems like this would be one of the Gen 6 races in a higher class, but no. This is uh, rookie street stock. It's just what you get with a higher split. Even though they're rookies, these guys are experienced. They know what they're doing. They're respectful. Oh, 
Oh, got a little bit loose there. Had to get off the gas, so. <coughs> Still going a little bit too high. Drop back quite a bit here. Oh, can't believe he came out of the pits like that. So you still get every once in a while somebody who doesn't know exactly what they're doing. Now look at this guy. In a lower split, that guy would have caused a big wreck. He was able to catch it, stayed off the wall, he's back on track. And I've managed to catch up because people had to slow down, not sure what was going to happen with him. Here's where it gets touchy. Car next to me didn't see me, started bumping me. And he's off. Look in the left rearview mirror. He's spinning. Yeah, he didn't see me down under him. I was down there, his spotter should have been telling him either he didn't see me, he didn't pay attention, or he just didn't care. And there's one in the grass. <laughs> he must think this is grid or, or dirt or something. And he's off. Boom! So this is a 20 lap race. I started in ninth. I've dropped back to 12th now. So I'm gaining a little bit on the guys in front of me here. And I'm slipping. Got a little tail happy there. Lots of smoke on the infield. Up to 11th now. I'm in ninth now. Still getting a little tail happy there. Just trying to keep it off the wall. Trying to catch the guy in front of me. So what I planned on doing with these videos is uh, kind of uh, recording or taking one race per week, um, the one I thought that was the most interesting or the most fun, uh, taking that race and posting it. Some weeks there might be more than one, but for the rookies, there's only two tracks. Um, like I said, USA and Charlotte. And after this race, I was promoted to a D class. So after this race, we'll be moving on to a, a different series for the Ovals. And I've also got some, uh, 
road class races that I'm going to be posting in the Skip Barber, of all things. <laughs> now, some of the races in the Skip Barber went better than others. I can honestly say there's one or two tracks where I just wish I had never even tried in the Skippy, but... <clears throat> The next car that I do on the oval track is going to be the uh, late model. I'm going to give that a try and see how I like it. From what I understand, they really enjoy the short tracks. Not so much the Legends ovals, but a lot of the shorter, a lot of the shorter uh, oval tracks. They really, they really like those. So I'm going to try those out and uh, see how it goes. Still got a long way to go in this race though. Lap 14 of 20. I have to be honest with you, when I first started iRacing, I had no interest in doing the oval tracks at all. But uh, a couple of the guys in my league suggested I try it, just to, just to check it out. And sometimes the short track can be fun, but I really like these larger ovals, because it seems to me like there is a lot of... Uh, I don't know what you'd call it, strategy to these larger ovals. Oh. See, I was, I was just worried this guy was going to lose it in front of me at some point. And a car behind's trying to poke his nose in. Oh, I'm loose, I'm loose. Makes it past me. One low, one high. So the biggest thing that I noticed about this race, even while I was racing it, was how the drivers seemed to make their way out of bad situations pretty easily. It wasn't until after the race that I took a look at the results and saw that it was a second split of five, which means it's one of the higher splits. Not the highest one, but one of the higher ones. So I was just glad to see that, uh, that I had managed to get myself into the higher splits. And this is the kind of racing you get. Past this guy on the final lap. Can I do it? Ah, he's definitely defending. Definitely defending. Hey guys, if you like these videos, you want to see more like this, hit that like button, make some comments. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Uh, I'm doing the voiceovers right now, but if you don't like the voiceovers, I'll, I'll post some without them. And that's the race. I did not make it past him. <laughs> I think he won by a bumper. Or he beat me by a bumper, I should say. I started ninth, I finished ninth, but my I rating went up, and so did my safety rating. So I was very happy with this race. It was a lot of fun. And this just goes to show you, this race right here just goes to show you what you can do by staying safe in the crappy races. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, finish the race, get your I rating up, get your safety rating up, and you can end up getting into the higher splits where you can have races like this where you're in similar skill levels to the other drivers. 
Um, and you can have a whole lot of fun. And right now you can't see it, but I'm talking to this guy, telling him what a great race it was and how much fun I had racing against him. And he's responding in kind. All right, that's it, guys. Have a great day.